can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you Alright guys, so we just announced the winner for the M3. Life's crazy. What y'all doing? Oh, what's going on? What's going on? So we're just gonna go ahead and go buy another car. <laughs> uh, what? So Sears probably gonna pick up his first BMW 335. Let's just go check it out. It's a little bit of a journey. Let's go. Let's, let's just go. Yeah, put your hands back on the wheel. <laughs> Trying to live, bro. <laughs> So we're over here. Uh, we finally got down to the dealership. So at this point, yeah, we're gonna go check out the car. We'll keep you guys posted whether we get it or not. Hey guys, we're officially here at a gas station or whatever this place is. <laughs> um, how do you feel? I don't even know. You just copped well, your first Beamer, bro. He got an LCI. Two, well, it's 2009, like kind of like the mid-range between LCI and pre-LCI but it's heavily modified. It's got a bunch of engine mods, JB4 tune, carbon hood, the wheels. The interior is really nice. It has the LCI nav, diamond stitching here and there. We got the leather seats, paddles, all that good stuff. So it even came with the police detectors, the little radars, which is pretty sick. So 335, all wheel drive. Um, we'll do more of a review when we get back. I'm saying, I don't even know how to open this thing. So you push it. Okay. Yeah, it's got some fancy mechanism. Okay, and then. <laughs> Bro, I remember this day three years ago. My first, from my Corolla to my first BMW, this is how I was three years ago. That's crazy. How you feeling, dude? Man, it's crazy. It's crazy, right? Bro, I, can't I went from a Corolla to a BMW. That's wow. what you, That's what happened. I don't even know what Life's crazy, bro. We're about, to, we're about to soup this thing up. I don't even know what to say. It's a blessing. <laughs> Honestly, a 335 is your first BMW. This thing's heavily modified. Guys, it has like so much carbon, like a carbon hood. Carbon spoiler. That's it's why got I a have diffuser. So many lights. It's got a million lights. Like, <laughs> oh my god! Like when I looked at it, I was like, "This is a piece of work." But once we, once I figured out it was a 2009 with a clean title, only 94,000 miles on the Carfax, and it's worth about nine grand, and we got it for half. Yeah. So it's good, and we got it from a dealer too. So it was like super, like this is kind of sketchy, but, but still, it was a lot better than getting it off the street. Yeah. Yeah. So that's nice. Especially. The Carfax was there too, so yeah. So that was nice. Anywho, so everything is good. Everything checks out. We're about to just head home, filling up some, some gas. And uh, tomorrow we'll probably we'll show you guys more of an in-depth tomorrow morning, hopefully. So, anyways, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Um, peace out. Yo, what's up, guys? It's the second day. I uh, just talked to a few cops about what's going on uh, with the ATM. Basically, the second machine there, and yeah, no one's gonna use it because it is broken. Uh, my car fell in there. A few other people's cards fell in there, which really sucks. So. I'm hoping they go ahead and give us a call tomorrow for everyone's cards that are stuck in there. I gotta head down to the DMV and get my license renewed. Um, it probably wasn't the smartest thing to stop buying so I cop with my license expired. Anywho, I'm gonna head home, I'm gonna pack up a couple things, uh, get my scanner tools, get dressed, get my laptop, and then uh, pretty much go pick up Sierra. We're gonna head over to the shop with this new car. All right guys, I'm officially home. Uh, pretty much just got dressed up, just waiting on Sierra. I got the packages, I got my backpack, I got everything we need to pretty much start working on my two friends' new cars. So they both got, one of my friends got a 135, the other one got a 335. These are both brand new. They both got them like a day or two. So let's head to the garage and hopefully start working on them. And we're also gonna be talking more about the E36 M3 since the winner decided to take cash. How you feeling, bro? Hey, what's, going on, <laughs> what's going on, dude? Damn! No. I didn't want to step on this. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, dude? What's going on? Hi. Guys, this is one of the first BMWs I've ever been in that has heated steering. What? Bro, you got full package, dude. All right, let's see if this thing actually warm. Dude, it's already getting warmer. Go, go, go. <laughs> Let me know how warm it gets. I really am curious. Damn, that's crazy. Damn, bro. You Damn. Know, that check engine, man. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Just press OK. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. This guy. Dude, that's crazy. Guys, this car has so many features. We'll, we'll go in depth on the car, exactly what it is, what's wrong with it, once we get to the shop. Anywho, um, I'll just catch you guys there. So we're officially here at the shop, so we made it, we made it. And we're here with the M3. So, let's go ahead and, uh, let's open the garage door, my dude. We're gonna, we're gonna have to get Sears car in here. Basically getting the 335 in here. Uh, we gotta get these two cars out of here. And we're gonna start checking out what's wrong with it. I got my scanner tools, we got everything over here. Let's hopefully, hopefully, uh, figure out this boost leak. I'm hoping it's just a small little boost leak because there's no smoke coming out of the rear, so I don't think it's a turbo issue, hopefully. So, let's go ahead, diagnose it, figure it out, and uh, do as much things as we can to it today. Guys, right, so this is what my boy Sear got from a Corolla to a Beamer. It's basically my transformation, but I came from a better Corolla to a shittier BMW. You came from a shittier Corolla 
to a better BMW. It's the life, it's the process. You wait a little longer, you get something a little bit better. So, anywho, this is what we're sitting on right now. If you have a small little mini diffuser down there, uh, exhaust tips are different. I think it does have like a muffle delete, but it looks like a gutted muffler because the muffle looks like it's still in there, but it sounds like a muffle delete. So I'm assuming that's what it is. He's got a carbon fiber spoiler, tints all the way around. The roof is wrapped. He's got some wheels on here. It looks like Nietzsche wheels. I'm not really too sure. It just looks like it from what I've seen before. Not too sure. It has side skirt extensions. Uh, not carbon, but these look pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Um, this is an X drive model. So it is all wheel drive, but hey, if you push some mad power, it's still gonna be an insane. It's still a 335. It just means you have more control on the road. So it's actually probably a safer car. Anywho, he even got the carbon fiber hood, which is kind of crazy. He, he get, he's also getting the original hood in a day or two from the from the dealer. We did get this from a dealer, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. We got the, literally the paper right there from a dealer. Um, so it has the M3 lump, little things there, little things on the sides. Actually a pretty good looking uh, hood. The only thing I don't like about aftermarket hoods is the gap. So we're gonna try to figure out if we can fix this to the best of our ability. So yeah, he also has this front lip that's already painted, which is super dope. I actually really like this lip. It looks good, but we do want to change the whole front bumper because it will change the whole front end. It looks absolutely insane. As for the car, guys, so this car is pretty well spec. So you guys can see it has keyless entry uh, coming from the inside. It has the brown interior, which is super nice. It's also sport. It has a little BMW logo there, you know, the subtle flex. And then it has this little uh, carpet you guys see on eBay. It actually look, it had, the fitment's actually really good. So that's pretty interesting. So I actually like the way that looks. Um, it's not too shabby. Has little pimped out little things here. Um, what's nice about it is it's a 2009. Other things it has, it has like the LCI little, uh, you know, switch. This is really nice. I really like the LCI ones here. It has these, which are LCIs. It has the CIC. This is a 2009. It's like the mid range. So it has LCI this. If you guys can see from the mirrors and a few other components like the headlights, they're not LCI. But uh, like the panels are not LCI either. It's just kind of like half LCI, which is kind of interesting, but it's nice. It has it has some LCI chrome pieces. It has heated seats, which is also really nice. Like my 435 doesn't even have heated seats. It actually has a heated steering wheel, which is really crazy. I never actually had a car with heated steering. Everything works electronically from the inside. The only thing is pretty much the motor and a whole bunch of lights. So yeah, all the air has pretty much come up. Left brake lamp, right fog lamp, so everything's still coming up. Tire pressure monitor. And then we get the check engine once we have to drive it kind of hard because there's a boost leak, so. I want to fix as much of these little light issues with Carly as possible, top off some fluids, and uh, you guys know it also has a coolant leak from yesterday. We'll show you all the en other engine issues. But yeah, I, I just want to fix as much of this as possible. So obviously it also has an engine light and pretty much a lot of light bulb lights. Let's try to get this down to maybe like one or two lights by the end of the day today. Has an aftermarket blow up off, charge pipe, intakes, all looks in pretty rough shape. So I'm thinking that has to do with the boost leak. It also has some vacuum lines that it could be the cause of our boost leak. So you're gonna be looking at that a little more. Wow, this can, well, looks like a piece of work. Anywho, the other major thing is this coolant tank. Yesterday we saw a whole bunch of coolant literally coming out as we're driving. You guys can see coolant's still there. Coolant's all over the engine bay. So yeah, this coolant tank needs to be replaced. I think you already ordered that, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try to do as much as we can today and the rest of it we'll just do another day. Uh, but let's just try to get this car um, in healthy driving order with as least lights as possible. and Hopefully no boost leaks. So let's just get right into it. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and use Carly and just figure out what's going on with the lights. I should just check out the lights. You wanna throw on the hazards and just Play around with the lights. I wanna see what's going on, which lights are broken just from the inside of the car. Okay, so those two lights on the bottom are working. All right, so all those lights, yep. Okay, hold on, everything looks, can you put it in reverse? All the lights are working, guys, what the hell? Okay, well, all the lights are working from the from the rear. Um, let's see the side markers. Side markers still work. The headlights I know work, halos work. Uh, leave the hazards on. Those still work, that one works. This one works. So it looks like um, these are probably aftermarket bulbs and it's throwing an air because that's what BMW does when the voltage is not the same. So let's go ahead and get rid of those airs with Carly. So we got all the lights off the dash and we just did some like, we just cleared the code. So um, all the lights, there's got a whole bunch of aftermarket lights. Everything works. So we just decoded the airs. And then now, the only thing is washer fluids. So we just need to top that off, which is good. Uh, we'll go down to auto zones like a dollar. Yeah. Walmart, a dollar. And then uh, we just need to get the, what's it called? We just need to get that check engine light again. We want that light so we know what the problem is. We can run the codes. Cars already looking a million times better. Uh, we need to do the oil change. That service is due. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and take it for a test drive and then we'll come back and let you guys know what the codes are. After bashing on it just a little bit, check engine light comes on. It's really not that hard. 
Uh, service use for the oil change, tire pressure, we're gonna have to get the decoded because it has aftermarket wheels. Uh, washer fluid low, we can just top that off. And then engine malfunction, reduce power. That's what we're actually looking at. So let's go ahead and plug in the code and figure that out. All right guys, so it looks like the main reason actually the turbos are acting all weird, I think is because of the tune. It's saying something to do with the DME, time counter DME, time counter DME, uh, boost pressure control, boost pressure too low. 30 FF code, every 335 has that. These two I think are because of the tune. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some more research on that. I'll let you guys know what it is. So we got to pretty much the computers. This is the JB tune right here. So we're gonna go ahead and just disconnect it. I just wanna put everything back to OEM and just see if everything's okay. So let's go ahead and just put it back to stock. All right guys, so we just went ahead and just plugged in the computer outside of the hole. Pretty much the JB tune is out. Let's hope to God this thing actually starts up. <laughs> He's praying. That feels like a lot better. Dude, that feels better, doesn't it? Dude, that feels a lot better. I guess now the only way to tell is to take it out for a spin. So we haven't actually put everything back together yet because I just want to make sure that's actually the problem. So let's see what code for the tune uh, or it says something to do with the DME. I unplugged the DME and the car can still power on, which means the computers are still working. I think that was just interfering with it. Maybe you didn't install it right. So we're gonna go ahead and take it out for a spin. We'll let's hope to God. Let's see, you know the difference between the power. It was really under power. So we're about to find out, we're about to find out. Let's just take it on this block. Uh, so yeah, let's see it. You wanna hold this for me? Yeah. We are just praying right now that it was the tune. Dude, okay. First off, there's power. Uh -huh. There was no power before. Uh -huh. So there's actually power now. It is it does feel a little bit weaker, I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't feel like at full turbo, like stock power, but this is all wheel drive. So maybe I'm not used to it. Maybe I'm not used to it. So let's take out for a spin down the block and we'll see real quick. Oh, I thought the turbo was there. So there's life in the turbos for sure. Whoa! What's wrong with you, bro? Did you guys feel that? Are you good? It was like an earthquake or something. Oh, how uh, do you feel it, dude? Uh, <laughs> is it crack was me on a hell of a drug? Alright, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the sponsor for this video is Carly. Appreciate you, Carly. I wish. I ain't paying for shit, but I'm still gonna use them because I love them. Shout out, Carly. Yeah. Cool. Alright, guys, so uh, we went ahead and just did a couple runs. I called Erlon. He worked at BMW, so he knows how you kind of like test for boost leaks. The car literally feels like it's a 328. It doesn't feel like there's any boost at all. Um, it does feel a little bit better since we moved the tune. I don't know if that sounds right. Maybe that's just what we're feeling. I don't know, but it felt a little bit better. So we went ahead and checked these canisters. We went ahead and checked uh, the pressure here from the boot, the pressure, whatever that pump that is. Erlon told me about all this stuff. I'm not educated whatsoever, but I went ahead and followed a professional. So uh, we also checked some of these lines. It looked pretty good. The only hissing sound that I hear is coming from over here in the blow off valve and I know that creates a boost leak. So it could be the blow off valve, it could be the line. The line looks good all the way throughout but it could be hairline crack and we just can't tell. So when it comes to an actual 30 FF code, instead of spending a whole bunch of money getting new lines, a new blow off valve, a new charge pipe, whatever it may be, we're gonna, we're gonna place a whole bunch of things and it may not even be that's the problem. So uh, we have this company that works across the street. We're gonna hit them up and we're gonna see if they can do a diagnostic. Maybe you can even hook it up for the channel. So we'll talk to them, we'll see. And if they can work out a deal, at least diagnose it, I think it's something minor. There's no white smoke, there's no rattle. I think there's a rattle only cold starts. So I think it's pretty normal. So for the most part, I don't think you need to worry. We got all the other lights cleared up. So I think it's a really good car. I think it's a good car. Yeah. <laughs> Meantime, you have to drive your Corolla. <laughs> now you're giving me that face. <laughs> hey, man, I ain't this guy. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and just put everything back on the engine bay and then we can take it down to that shop over there. So yeah, guys, uh, that pretty much concludes the video. Uh, I don't want to show you guys the pieces together. I don't think you guys really care. So anywho, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go.
I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have words.